Well, for many people, especially entrepreneurs, while they rest up during the festive season, they are, or at least should be, uh, using this period to uh, really re-strategize for the new year and get themselves ready for some growth. Well, to share some strategy ideas, I am joined in studio by uh, Heti Boachi Yadom, uh, widely known as Heti the Entrepreneur. Heti, a good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's easy for us to, around this time of the year, go, ooh, hey, hey I'm relaxing. Yeah. The, the, the year's over. But if you are a business owner and you, you keep watching the news and, you know, you're hearing economists and analysts say, well, 2023 is going to be a tough year. Yes. In the back of your mind, you certainly are thinking about, okay, what does this mean for my business? Absolutely. In fact, this is a time of year that I am advising absolutely every business owner do not end 2022 without a 2023 monetization strategy. Mm. What are you going to do in the new year to ensure that you're able to take your business and your income to the next level? I feel that that is such an important question to answer before going off and relaxing into the festive season. Yeah, to monetize your business. Can mm. we explain what that actually means? Because I think it's, it's easy for us to assume that, well, if it's a business, it's surely monetized right what yeah. does that actually mean how do i know that my business isn't quite monetized to where it should be exactly that is such a brilliant question so monetization in its very simple form is the act of making money from an activity so often at times when people look at their business they're only thinking about one income stream but when we look at monetization, we are able to assess, well, where are you leaving money on the table? Mm. What additional income streams can this one business actually be able to generate for you? So it is the science of making money from what you are good at doing. Yeah. And of course, uh, around this time of year, as we start planning for next year, Obviously, all of us want to find a want to build a business that has multiple income streams. I think even as individuals, we want to we want multiple income streams because of the world we're living in yeah. and the tough economic times. Um, what are the strategies that we that we should should explore just as we start off, right before we seek the sort of professional, um, I suppose, input? Mm -hmm. What's the strategy? What is it exactly that I need to be assessing, perhaps even in my business? Mm -hmm. Well, first thing you need to be able to do a business diagnostics. That is the very first thing that we do with any new client or entrepreneur. What worked well in 2022? What didn't work well? What can you improve upon? So when we do a business diagnostics, that shows us it's like the x-ray of your business before we prescribe your monetization strategy. Where are the areas where you're bleeding money? Where are the areas that you can be able to grow? Where are the low hanging fruit that you're not taking advantage of that you should be taking advantage of? What are your income goals for 2023? How much money do you want to make? I can ask that question. You can <laughs> ask that question. In fact, it's so fundamental because it gives us a goal to work towards. Mm. Because now that the goal is established, we can now begin to work our way backwards. Well then, now that we've got the goal, what do I need to practically do every day, every week, every month in order to achieve that particular goal. Yeah. I think we talk all the time about, um, uh, you know, needing to support small to medium enterprises in the country because the job stats come out and we're reminded over and over again that the jobs are going to come from small to medium businesses. Yeah. Um, so they need as much capacity as possible. At what stage do I know in my business that maybe it is time for me to call Heti the entrepreneur to look at my strategy? Mm. Um, I think it's something that, that intimidates a lot of small businesses because we think I'm running a small mom and pop. What do I need a strategy for? Yeah, no, absolutely. So we work with businesses that are at the point of saying, I want to grow. I am ready to get an expert to come in and work on the science of actually monetizing my business. That's why we work with such a cross section of different businesses. We work with lawyers, we work with accountants, we work with people within the automotive industry because every single business should be able to prioritize, how do we make more money? Mm. How do we keep the engine of this thing actually going?
Yeah, well, give us a website so we can take a look at some of your work. All right, so I'm on all social media platforms. I am a self-confessed addict of social media. You'll find me. <laughs> it's Hetty the Entrepreneur. Pop me a DM, say strategy. Let's just get the conversation going. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's build some strategy then for uh, 2023 as you continue to build your business. Hetty, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. And if it's not your, if you haven't started building the business, it might be some inspiration for you to uh, get brave enough to get going with that idea that you do have. Hetty uh, Boachi Yadom, widely known as Hetty the Entrepreneur, speaking to us there.